Hello and welcome back to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today it's a Saturday and instead of going out rock hounding, we're trying to save money on fuel. Tim's here with me and we are going to cut a whole bunch of rocks today. I've got buckets of stuff that I've just never gotten around to. Yeah, we're just going to start cutting stuff and we're going to cut for a few hours and <laughs> just roll through a montage of a whole bunch of stuff we're going to cut for you guys. Here we have the first piece. It's a little bit of petrified wood. Cut across it lengthwise and... Yeah, it's got a nice wood texture in it. Next, we got another one of those laminate cubes. This one was damaged like that, so I felt like it would be okay to go ahead and cut it. And nice. Got some pirate in that one. Okay, we got a whole bunch of the bird's eye stuff that we hadn't cut open yet that tend to have the fossils in them. So we're just going to start going through a whole bunch of those. First one, oh, it's got a little shell in it. It's not very pretty. Here's the next one. Oh, yep, it's got a nice little seashell fossil in it. Next shell, let's take a look. Yeah, that's an interesting one. It's still kind of hard to see it, but it's still a shell. Here we have the next shell. Oh, that's a better one. It's bigger. Still, I uh, wish the color was better. So Tim found this little piece of a geode that had a little bit of agate banding on the bottom and decided, I'm just going to cut through that and see what we get. Ooh, whoa, that's not what I expected. I thought the banding was going to keep going through. It's got this circle right in the middle. Huh. Here we have another piece of wood. Looks good from the outside. Yep, let's see what we got. And it looks good in the inside. I like that little hole right there. Here's another piece of wood. Yeah, it's a little taller than the saw, so it got off a little bit. Oh yeah, that's that's kind of nice. It's got some colors in it, some patterns. So here's a piece of agate that we had, and it was much bigger than this, and it had a series of fractures running through it, and it just fell all to pieces. But these are the uh, nicer pieces. Uh, you might be able to see some uh, light coming through it. Not sure if you can. But yeah. yeah, at least we got a few nice little pieces out of it. Back to the bird's eye. This one should be a shell fossil. It broke a little bit, unfortunately. Now I can already see the tip of the shell. Oh! Well, that's the first time we've seen it bicolored like that. Like, one thing down here, one thing up here. So this must have gotten filled in with the, the calcite, and then this up here maybe just got filled in with clay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you can already see it's going to be a good shell. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it when we get them like that. Oh, that's a beautiful shell. Okay, big piece of wood now. I was worried about this when it had fractures, so Tim cut it right along the fracture. Oh, nice. Nice. You can see this is where he didn't quite finish the cut, so I'll have to smooth that off, but... That looks nice. It's a good piece of wood. Next bird's eye. You can see a tip of a shell. Hey, it's kind of that double like again. Not as good as the last one, but that's still cool. Next bird's eye. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's a shell. Uh, not a very good one just because it's hard to see. But still, it's a shell. Here's the next bird's eye. Broke at the bottom again. Ah, well, okay, that's three today now we've had where it's the bicolor, where the, you know, it's got like, I don't know, probably mud at the top and then calcite at the bottom. This time I had a, another geode sitting around. Let's take a look. Whoa! Huh, I had a tiny pocket. It's got this little rim. And then, huh, <clears throat> that's kind of cool. This piece of wood had a fracture going through it that way, so I tried to follow it, and yeah, it shattered on one side. But it's nice. What I did get on this side, though, definitely very nice. So I've had this kind of funky-shaped red horn coral for a while that I wanted to try and cut into. So it broke right here. That looks nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? 
Oh, that's nice. It's kind of cut slantwise through the coral. It's really quite neat. So this one I was cutting and it shattered right down the middle. So I was like, huh, oh, look at that. <laughs> you can see the whole shell. But instead of being cut nicely, it broke. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, this is a little bit of that black agate that we hadn't cut yet. You can see a little bit showing there. All right, yeah, kind of what I thought. I thought that most of it was here and it was gonna disappear as it went further in. It's still nice though. You still get some nice little agate there. So remember that piece of the black agate that I was like, I haven't decided how I wanna cut it yet. Decided to cut it this way. Here it goes. Um, hey, huh. Uh... Trent, where'd your color go? Uh, I guess it didn't really have it to begin with. We call it black agate, right? Yeah. Well, you, you know. got the black down here, and then you got kind of oh, not yeah. so black there. It's like it's still neat. Like, I the... think that once I maybe grind these surfaces... Then have the light shine and through. And have the light shine through, I think then it's going to look really nice. Okay, for the final one, this one, I took that piece that we had, and I went ahead and ground the side of it, and let's see light come through it. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ah, uh, that beautiful black agate. And there's our rock cutting video for today. We had some nice stuff. We went through quite a few different things and they were all pretty fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, there's treasure everywhere.